I'd like to present a game I was running unintentionally in Q1 this year. It's a game with the easy to remember name. Where is it? The Branchy Land, Sheep Land, Multiverse, Crossover, Twitter, Alternate, Augmented Reality, Story Driven Game. Just use the hashtag, um, it's, not, it's much easier. And this whole idea started uh, that, that in 2017, I got career changed from classic game studies to research, to do more research in the field of decentralized networks uh, combined with digital identity and artificial intelligence, blockchain in education and, and blockchain in gaming. And I was very disappointed through the research just a good guess, 90% of the things you see with blockchain and gaming is either fraud or not working or trying to get money from the player's uh, wallets. And that's a bad thing. But one of the good approaches that I discovered is was a game played in December 2021. It was called Frenchyland. It was also on Twitter. And it was an educational game about blockchain technologies on a, on a rather unknown proof of stake network. And inspired by that game, I tried to tease Natalie, and that was the very beginning. Natalie was at that time, and, and that's her secret talent. She is the queen of sheep. As you see on the pictures, all the sheep are from her, and you can also purchase them as NFTs, by the way. Very cheap. <laughs> no, no, no problem to purchase them, I guess. And I started with a tweet. It was a um, photo from a doormat from my neighbor, and I just uh, put a, I made an NFT out, out of it. An NFT is, is, is stores the media file on an IPFS server, and this is uh, connected to a blockchain asset. And I said, Natalie, your sheep are conquering Gerasdorf, a small city near, near Vienna. And then she sent me the Sherlock Holmes um, sheep. It's in the middle of the picture. I made an NFT out of it. And then on Twitter, I asked the crowd, how is the story going to continue? And I then tried um, to have a, a, a general storyline made up in my mind, but most of the game actually came from the tweets of the players. And I also tried the game to, 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 to make it in a way that it is on the one hand an improv theater piece inspired by the Chauna Bühne in Ottergring. So what, what comes to your mind? Uh, we, we try to, to, to make it happen. And on the other hand, I wanted also to educate about ownership of game elements, um, about smart contracts, about how, how things actually work and how you can easily misunderstand uh, particular aspects when it comes to, to, to blockchain and gaming. And it was quite a success. So more and more people contributed. For example, one quest was, um, please uh, draw a spaceship. And then the community voted on blockchain, which spaceship is going to be uh, the spaceship bringing the sheep uh, to the moon. And then from another blockchain game, we use the asset ID of a key. And with the owners that have the key, we needed five of them, they can unlock the spaceship to fly, for example. So we also tried to cross over my game with other games that run already on that particular blockchain. But I also had a lot of learnings, uh, for example, one, one game element that was really needed, someone, someone uh, got it, we sent it to him, and then he wanted the equivalent of 50 euros that he sends it back to us. And I, I said, oh, fuck, <laughs> I need, sorry. Now I need to pay him 50 euros that my game continues. That was one of the main quests. And then, um, I, I, then actually I paid him the tokens, got the element, and the, the game was able to continue. So I learned that every game I make in the future, I have to write a script that you cannot sell the game items on the market, that it can be only be used within the gaming area. And for me, the whole experience with the sheep, sheep land multiverse uh, was, was amazing. I, I love to you know, work with the community with strangers I haven't met before, and they became kind of online friend, friends through game design. And I'm looking forward to write the paper, which uh, is based on, um, peer-to-peer -peer interviews with uh, players from the game that, um, that agreed uh, to, to chat with me. And, and, and so it's going to be a qualitative research on their experience uh, playing our game with us. Thank you.